Hello, I am J Dog John Karshman. Welcome to the show, guys. Mr. Dave, are you in flip flops? That's what we're wondering. Hey, let's say hello to two new folks uh, Christina Akakiki. Aka Hope I got that right, Christina. Hey, you're interested in viticulture, are you? Great, live your passion on that one. And Melissa Oaks. So, hi, guys. Hope you find the show useful. So, um, hey, I want to tell you about a plant that I'm very excited about because it is time right now to be looking for this. And especially if you're interested in something that's vining, something that really takes off. Oftentimes, folks come in and they're looking for a vine and they want they want this vine to really go to town quickly. Lack of patience. We all have that. Um, so I want to tell you first on how this particular one's. Now this is a passive flora. It's a passion vine. Um, so it's a plant that's near and dear to me. So uh, this is a, so it's passive flora and it's um, passive flora ceruli cerule. Um, I don't know if there's any other ways to pronounce that. Uh, ceruli is what I call it. Uh, cerulea and it's a hardy passion flower because there's lots of different types of passion flower. This one is a hardy version so it can take our winters not easily. Um, now uh, this is how it grows. It's very interesting. Excuse me. It's very interesting. Didn't mean, um, and, and what it does, it sends out these runners. Can you see that okay? It sends out these runners and it, they just swing in the air like that. And what it does, it, 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 it attaches, it looks for something so it, like this and it just, it, it'll, it'll attach to something like you can see how it attached to that pole right there. So it just clings on that. It's very kind of, it's kind of unique. Very easy to climb this guy. So, um, but I have yet to show you the bloom on it. Take a look. This is a bloom that I want to say is one of the most intricate uh, intricate blooms out there. It's just it's, 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 it's so unique. No fragrance what to speak of. It's just something very, very showy and you can get lots of them. You can get easily a hundred on this on a vine that goes to town. So and then after it finishes blooming by the way, let me show you on another plant here, you get the passion fruit. So that's the fruit. It turns into that I don't know if you make jams or jellies out of this. I know you don't make um, juice out of it, but this one in particular, by the way, is pa Passiflora Clear Skies. So it has a little bit of a larger bloom than a regular uh, passion flower, and it is hardy. One thing to do, one thing to note about the passion flowers, by the way, it is evergreen. And during the winter time, uh, during the summer months, it has that big, bold green leaf. But during the winter time, those leaves are very, very Thin. So just hang tight with that. Really goes to town when the heat comes out. So anyway, hope you find that helpful and useful and gosh, maybe even interesting. Here is your quote for the day. Life is like a taxi. The meter just keeps a ticking whether you are getting somewhere or just standing still. Thank you very much, Lou Erickson. That's the show, guys. Always don't forget, live your Passion. See me ride out of the sunset on the color TV screen.